All right, Steve, we're taking a look at your swings before the session here. And you've never really been able to pull the ball with a lot of power, so we really worked on that. You're a good hitter and, a, and an accomplished hitter, but you usually go up the middle in the other way, uh, trying to get a little bit more zip on those balls and then being able to pull the ball a little bit more. Look at here again. Just like uh, one of the other sessions we did on our channel, a big wind up here where you're actually moving backwards uh, before taking your stride forward. And then right here you can see you're just trying to lift the ball. It's a shorter pitch, but you play ASA and the plate is a strike. I mean, that's a ball that you're going to have to be able to attack. Um, just trying to lift it up instead of taking the hands on a downward path and trying to cut through the ball. And then here with the rotation is a big thing. You're so used to going to right field um, and look at your, your rotation just kind of stops there in your stance. Take a look at Jeff Hall swing here. He brings his foot back a little bit, but look at his head and his body. He's actually moving forward this entire time. There's no, you know, he's winding up with his hands and he's loading up on the back foot, and, and, but he's just pushing himself forward. Now the rotation starts. Look at that, that weight transfer and then comes through the ball on a straight line, not trying to roll the wrists over before contact, and then finishes with a nice rotation. Look at your movement here. Your first movement is backwards. I mean, it's like, you're like a flamingo there. If, if you can balance on one foot, that's not good. You should be able, you should have to be pushing yourself forward off that back foot. Now you're starting to come forward. That's just what you should do right out of your stance. Connected position is pretty good here, but look at that head drops. Uh, it's a higher pitch, so it's going to make the swing look better. Right there, kind of a weird downward motion after contact. It's because you're trying to roll those wrists over before you're hitting the ball. And we'll see that later on. Um, you know, decent finish with the rotation here, but, uh, or, or start to a finish of the rotation there, but you don't get all the way through uh, like you see Hall and like you see a lot of the uh, other guys at the top level. Once again, winding up on that back foot. Winding up and loading up is good, but not moving backwards and staying stationary. You want to do that as you're moving forward. Here we go. Here's a pitch right in the zone. Turning, good position here. You know, that's a great hit in the game. Um, you're just not getting out to full extension. That's why you're not getting the most power and, uh, and, and consistency out of it. And then your finish, I do like the one-handed finish, just not quite getting the explosive rotation that we need to be able to pull the ball with authority. Here's Jeff again. Look at, he's winding up. He's taking a huge wind up, you know, to hit something hard, but he's moving forward this entire time. Here comes the rotation. Here's a shorter pitch that, he, you know, he has to reach out for, but look at, if you're going to swing at a shorter pitch, look how he, he uh, extends his arms all the way through. He doesn't just try to lift it up and, and kind of short arm it around and try to turn the wrist over prematurely. He just trusts his swing and gets down through uh, at full extension. Here, once again, you're just, you're totally stationary on that back foot. Now you're starting to just, you're almost like teeter-tottering forward. You're just putting the weight on the back foot and then just kind of falling forward instead of gliding forward. Here's that same pitch that Hall swung at. Instead of, look at, no full extension there. Instead of, you know, extending the arms down and taking the bat head through the ball, you're just trying to uh, swing the bat, you know, around your body and just kind of lifting. And main thing is you're trying to lift up on that ball instead of cutting down through it. Here's another shot at a ball that's a little bit more up in the zone. Right here, that, that, this is a great position here when you're moving forward, but that's how you, what you should do right from the start. Hands drop a little bit, not out to full extension. That's a hit in a game, but just not, you can see compared to, to Jeff's swing, you're just not getting out to full extension there, and then the rotation is just kind of limited. Right here, you're just standing in your stance, almost like a, a finish in a golf swing. One more time, take a look at Jeff's. He brings that, see how he brings that foot back? I mean, he, that, that's not something I would, you know, try to do. But um, you know, when he's doing, that's his windup. But when he's doing it the whole time, is his body's moving forward. So here's that short pitch, right here. You are just lifting up and uh, look out, full extension right there. You know, you never get to that position. Um, you know, that's not a great pitch to swing at. But you know, if you're gonna swing at it, you commit to it. Um, and then look how his rotation finishes around. Kind of has an awkward. Uh, finish there just because it's a shorter pitch but you know totally not just standing in a stance you know he just lets that rotation come around take a look at the bat path here 
the hands are moving on a downward path towards the ball and the bat head is coming around, coming around, coming around. Right here, you would lift up, but look at him. Oh, through, just like he's going to throw the bat down at the pitcher's feet. And then look at the finish there, the top hand. Remember this for later in the video. This top hand is still on. Now, you know, his, pow his powering through. Now it's coming off of the bat. But he's not uh, just pulling around with his lead arm. Here we go. Look at this bat path. Look how great that is. Look how different that looks compared to your swing. And this, and remember, this is the ball that's right across the chest. Now there's a lower pitch. pitch that's, that's chest high or even, you know, neck high. What do you do up through it? There. there. Now, but that has to be a pitch that is neck high or, or chest high. If you try to swing at a low pitch like that, it's going to be no good. That's why we're working on uh, the focus of where the pitches are there. Here's the slide tube or the swing simulator, which is a great thing for you to do. Look at this. Great rotation. Pulling around, not turning those wrists over. Look at that motion right there. Not cranking those wrists over top of each other, just keeping them sideways. Now we're using the cutoff bat here. Now look at that. That is a pitch that would be, you know, chest high, neck high. So if that, and we're working on our finish here, so we're, we're finishing the rotation. But, you know, if you're doing that, then you have to understand where that pitch is going to be. Now here we're getting out to full extension. Oh, yeah, love that position. Look at that. That's where you're not getting. That's exactly where, where Jeff is on that ball. And that's about a, you know, belly button high or a chest high pitch. And then look at, there's a nice finish there. That's really what we're working on is that full extension. Oh yeah, right there. We're calling that point B. Point A right there, hands are back is point A. And then here comes point B. Man, if you could get your, uh, you know, your finish to be like that. I love the ax handle, especially for you. It forces you not to turn those wrists over. Look at you know, you're hit, if that was a, a tree or there was a, a blade on that axe, you'd be hitting the ball with the blade. You're not turning the wrists over too soon. Now there, I think after contact, you would, you're, you're kind of on your way to cranking them over a little bit too early, but uh, it's still a great looking position there. Look at that. Doesn't make, yeah, there, you came up too high. That's what I'm talking about. There, you go out to full extension. Look at that. See the difference there? And I'm going to put my hands out here because I'm pretending there's a pane of glass there. And if you lift up the bat too high, you're going to break the pane of glass. That was our focus on there. We're trying to get those arms, once again here, you know, that, that, that wind up. Um, I don't know why guys do that. I think you're trying to just maybe wind up too much um, instead of just letting yourself come forward. Right there, that's a great looking swing. Um, got out to full extension off of the tee and look at the finish on the rotation we're really fin we're really uh focusing on that i'm telling you i want you to be off balance here's collins you know guys guys say well andrew collins has a huge wind up well he cocks his hands and he has a you know somewhat of a big leg kick but look at he's moving forward this entire time there's no you know loading up and wind well, i shouldn't say loading up because loading up's good but there's no winding up on the back and moving backwards look at his head it's moving forward right now even as he's you know kicking his leg and, and cocking his hands down, um, it's got to be total forward motion. So right here, look at the bat path. Great looking bat path. Turning those wrists over maybe a little bit too early, and that kind of creates a downward path here. But off the tee, we're trying to be more aggressive here. Like I said, don't worry about where the ball goes off the tee. We're not trying to hit balls up over the fence necessarily off the tee. We're just training ourselves to to kind of cut the bottom part of the ball and be more aggressive because, you know, in general, um, or always, off the off live hitting, you have to be more aggressive than off the tee. Look at his hands path, hand path right here. Boom, he's cutting that ball, but then look at, the bat head doesn't drop down after contact. It continues on a straight line, and he's out to full extension. And then right here, his top hand isn't coming off until, you know, we can't even see when it's coming off. Well, you can see in his shadow, it's coming off there. Um, he's powering the wrist through the ball. It looks to me sometimes you let go of that top hand almost like right at contact or after contact. Great position here, but right there. Maybe a little bit early letting go with that top hand. And then I can see, look at your head is kind of down. You kind of have that keep the head on the ball baseball mentality instead of, you know, I, I'm trying to get you to almost bail out to the left. Um, you know, not taking your eye off the ball or, or, or anything. Um, but, you know, pulling your head is not a bad thing. Um, because it just means that you're getting more rotation. Uh, doesn't get out to full extension there. These are our swings uh, at the end that we're just kind of starting with. Getting back to a, there, look at that. 
Just look how nice they're, you're, uh, look, there we go. I'm trying to get you to cut loose. Look at that. That's where I'm saying, hey, you know, just cut loose with the rotation and, uh, you know, try to, you know, be a wild man here. Um, because you're, you're just, you're missing a little bit of that explosiveness that you have. Look at that. I mean, that's kind of a, a glancing blow, um, but you launched that ball way out of here. Um, and, you know, you didn't quite power through it on a straight line, but your, you know, your rotation made up for it. Look at this bat path through here. Boom, not out to full extension quite there, but you're cutting down on the ball um, almost maybe even a tiny bit too much because you're not going through on a straight line. Um, but just a great, you know, way different than before. Look at that. I mean, just look at the, you know, how explosive you look after that. You know, that's a ball that you hit for a, um, you know, a single or a double, but uh, to keep it in the park. And look at this swing. Nice. You know, more on a straight line. Not quite out to full extension there, um, but still look great. This is the ball that you bombed. It was the, the last ball that we hit of the day. And you said you didn't feel like you hit it that well. And, you know, take a look at the swing. It's, it's, it's the, definitely the, the best technical swing of the day. Look at your rotation back. And then look at that out to full extension right there. Just uh, awesome looking right there. And then the finish with the rotation, I mean, just looks like a totally different player. I mean, it looks like, uh, you know, Greg Cannell. I don't have one of his swings on here, but just the, the rotation is just, you know, insane on that. I have this slow way down here. Here come the wrists come through. Boom. Power through right on a straight line out to full extension. And then coming around with the rotation. Just a great looking swing there. One more time. Super slow on the bat path. Taking a look at your rotation. Pretty good hand path here. The bat head's dropping a little bit, but then you're gonna make up for it. Now here, you see, normally your wrists are kind of turning over right here. But no, you're keeping them flat, just like on the swing simulator. And then right through contact, look at right there. On a straight line, it's not dropping down or, or you know cutting down on a glancing blow. Look at right there, full extension. Oh, that is just primo right there. Um, great looking swing there, Steve. Uh, if you could, if you're, I know that you videotape your swing at home a lot, and this is the the positions that you need to get to, um, so that you can get the you know more power pulling it to to left field and getting a higher trajectory on the ball. But um, great looking swings today and moving forward. I think you really have some stuff to build on. Uh, thanks again for making the trip out, Steve. Great working with you. Thank you.